Hello. <laughs> I didn't know the whole family was here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Well, that's your, cha that's your chance now. Oh, oh, say hello <laughs> to our friend. He's super nice. Oh, I think he's going to get a mask. Oh, my God. There's some giant sunglasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very close <laughs> this time. <laughs> Okay. That remind me something. What's that? <laughs> so good. Very good. But you know, you know what? You look way more hotter than the, the actor. Way more hotter. Yeah, way more sexier than the than actor Johnny Depp, I think. Yeah, you say too much. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Wait, where's my shadow? Did you like the nail nail in the, the so. double check? I heard a big one. <laughs> Jesus. There's me and my shadow. Do you know about the shadow? How do you come face to face with your shadow? <laughs> this is creepy because you, your video froze just as you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the very secret blast. <laughs> I like that black thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> What's happening? I uh, just got home now. Where's the... Uh... I think it's from a yeah. What is that cat thing? That's my shadow. Got what's that from? Marvel. A Marvel from, movie. That's from a thrift store. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I have new robotic arms. I'm going to take over the world, and all of you are going to be my robotic slaves. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you about that part of the plan. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's happening oh, in uh, New Zealand? Hey, I was, I was wondering, how entrepreneurial are you guys? Uh, well, I guess it depends what you're talking about. Well, I'm just wondering if, if you guys want to be the distributors of the cards in New Zealand. Uh, well, I don't really have a network here. Is the issue? What about your honey bunny? No, I don't think you really have a network of, of, of people with very much. Oh uh, no, actually, I, I, do have, I do have a lot of networks here, but they are way older than me, and because I'm young and beautiful, they don't want to associate with me a lot. Ellie, hey. I know. I know, I know, I know. Yes. I know, right? You don't see us. You don't see us. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I think they have their own no. type of convo killers. Yeah, I'm waiting no to yeah, get more network killers. and stuff. Because, you know, I have a bunch of male friends. I have a bunch of male friends, but because they all get married for my age, it's really inappropriate to talk to them. And for the female friend, on the other hand, um, I only like to talk to the woman yeah, that is there, wise but... and not so, so jealousy and gossiping. So they're pretty much way older than me. And of yeah. course, because I'm young and beautiful, they don't want to associate with me a lot. So I'm pretty doomed. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have besties. She recently moved to Australia. That's a shame. Uh, What's that? <laughs> Fred Fry six, Fry buzz. The curse of beauty. All right, girls, out of the office. Okay, out of the office. Because we're going to have a serious meeting now. Yeah. Serious stuff is about to happen. Yeah.
We but gotta... before you go, Yo. staring at this card. What's that? Staring at this card. Staring at this card. Get Magic. well sweep? What is that? Get well. Get well soon. Okay. okay. Look at the heart. Look at the heart. Is Look that for me? Heart. Am I sick? <laughs> no, no, that's not for no, but staring at the heart. Okay. Staring uh, at I the, heart. the heart. Okay. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Okay. Oh no. One, two, three. <laughs> oh wow. That's that what happened there? Was there a transformation? Yeah, a Purple to red? Yeah, it's a magic <laughs> <laughs> you guys have strong medicine. Very strong. Oh! Hi! I've never seen a better shoe. Hey, I like that. Hello, Mr. Schumann. Why? Okay, just say bonjour to our friend. See you guys. It's eleven thirty. Oh my god. Yeah. No, we don't Yeah, it's eleven thirty p.m. All right, I see. Okay, say Banui. Bye. 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 Storming the castle. Yeah, I did. No. No. So I might have blown it for us. <clears throat> oh, <shit. laughs> what did you say when they asked you? So Elijah, what do you think, or, or whatever they asked you there? It was like the Darmendra. Like it's, I, I haven't been saying anything for two meetings, and I'm just I'm just silent. And I mean, two meetings ago, I brought up the fact that I didn't even know that was the purpose of the team, the sacred in reality. I thought we were the Luciel background operations team. And then they said, no, we're the sacred in reality team. <laughs> and every one of the, the contractors team. was in the same boat as me thinking, oh, I thought this was this team. And then all the Luciel people are saying, no, we thought we were this. So both, I told you, right? Both the contractors and Luciel had no idea you know, they weren't on the same page. And so this meeting, we had nine guys, there's no women there. And they're talking about the sacred. And I don't know about you, but I'm not, I'm not much into spiritual discussions. I've spent my whole life studying it and going, and it's just like, now it's like, nah, I mean, whatever you think about God is your thing. I don't want it to be a thing. So yeah. it was just like they invited the bull into the china shop. And Darmendra called me. I was like, come on, Elijah, say something. You're not talking. I want to hear what you want to say. And I said, I don't want to speak because I'm not going to say nice things. If you got nothing nice to say, don't say it. Don't ask me. And then I yeah. just went, okay, imagine nine priests in a monastery. And they're all talking about God. And the village below is on fire. That's how I see what we're doing right now. And I brought up what you brought, what you told me. I said, you know, what have you, know, the teams, what, what about the people that are all unmotivated, don't want to be here and have left the ship? You know, why aren't we motivating them? Why aren't we, you know, we need to be doing something other than fucking talking about this stupid shit you're talking about. <laughs> And uh, but you actually say that <laughs> they didn't quite say that, but I think that's the general impression I gave them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been chastising them for about five weeks, so I, I, we, we, we we're either gonna do well with the chat room or they're just gonna, they're gonna hate me. Okay, well, was Olivia, Olivia there? 
he was there for the first part then he left and so as soon as he left then there was more talking than just at the end so it was kind of a hit and run and we most were people cool. were just kind of silent they're just kind of like ah uh, big vibe <laughs> big wet blanket this uh, guy basically i said like, yeah i said i don't i didn't quite say it but i don't want to be on the team anymore i want to start a media team i want to start uh, another team <laughs> like it's the polarization i wanted i all i'm interested in are what the media outputs are and the tools i don't want to talk about sacred shit i don't want to talk all i want to talk about is infrastructure building and Anyway, and no, I brought you. I brought you up. I said, I said, there's 144 people here. There's all of these resources here, but here we are trying to build the chat room. No, no one's got no time. I can't program, and we're trying to get this thing ready. And I keep telling you, I keep telling you, you know, we're doing this on nothing. You know, we we're doing this on nothing. And you're not hearing me. And then not only that, like the, you know, it's it's like it's like I'm saying, I'm the freaking architect. I'm the one who figured something out. It's like you guys are talking to Graham Bell, and Graham Bell is going, Hey guys, I got this communication system, it's gonna be around the planet, it's a little phone thing, it's this thing, and none of you understand what Graham's talking about, but he's saying the phone is about to come in. And that's how I feel. We have a communication system. We need to build it. I'm the architect, and you guys have no fucking idea what I'm fucking talking about. And I keep telling you. And so why do I why do I go so, silent? It's because there's nothing to say. You guys keep talking. Do your thing. You guys are doing great. But I'm not fucking talking anymore. Because every time I talk, I just get fucking pissed off. <laughs> and it was recorded. <laughs> and no women were there. And, and the thing is, I hate doing that with, with like, there's such beautiful people. Like, they're really they're great hearts. Ooh. And if the women were there, I just would have felt like shit afterwards. But the guys are there. And the thing is, you know, the there's a couple of people there that are very wealthy. You know, they got infrastructure. They got a million-dollar company. They work, a general who's worked with... You know, he's used to having thousands of people listen to him, right? And an attorney general, they're used to this stuff. And they're actually really, really nice guys. They're, yeah. they're always being positive and they're always, um, they're, you know, they're very like, like everyone's very likable. You know, that, that's the thing. Like, it, it's hard to chastise people you actually respect and, and like. But that seems to be my uh, role because I, I just don't understand how to interact with people based upon <laughs> what, what I've gone through. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, you're very invested in the outcome and maybe they're, they're not so much. Well, it's, it's not a question of just invested because I think they're invested, but they have no idea what they're doing. I have a set design. I have something I mean, yeah, I want to have something happen, right? Whether like, like to me as an inventor, you want people to use your things and if they're not using it well, then you want to go somewhere else. So you want to, you want to set it up so they're going to use it well. And if, 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 and the, and the interesting thing is it's the basis is communication. And here I am ranting. <laughs> but I. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, um, tell me about your meeting. Tell me the positive side. Well, I guess I must have told you something about last meeting where like a lot of people, oh, well, four or five people showed up out of the 12. And, yeah. and we came to the consensus that, the, you know, four of us. That, uh, that we're losing momentum as a team, you know, we got to get we got to get people back and motivated quick, or this is just going to fall apart and everyone's going to quit. Yeah. And even a couple, a couple of the four people were like, "Yeah, you know, I'm I'm pretty much done unless we change change something here." And this week it was good, so I I volunteered last week to send out a message in our WhatsApp group, um, 
to kind of like friend, like kindly invite everyone to to show up next week because we're gonna try to like re rethink this whole thing and blah blah blah. Anyway, a couple of people did show up that haven't like one person we haven't seen since probably months two. And uh, yeah, she's she's back like full force. She said like she said that uh, oh after I saw your 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 message Nova, I had to I had to come. So I'm like, sweet, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. Um, but and she's just crazy busy. She lives in India. She's she's a Netflix producer. She just her her show won a international Emmys, and she's like super busy doing three different shows right now. So I was like, yeah, wow. that's pretty sweet that you're back. Wow. And anyway, yeah. So and then we just spent the whole the whole instead of because we usually try to spend some of the time talking about the material that we got this week. You know, like um you know what do you think about material what do you think about this how about this tool you know what are we going to do as a group for this next week this week we did none of that we instead we used the entire time to just check in with each other and, and say like like answer a bunch of questions including um how many extra hours beyond this hour a week are is are you guys willing to put in um you know what what would motivate you to continue you know why did you join the cl what do you want out of this basic questions like that yeah and everyone answered them. Everyone was super positive, and everyone said two to three hours beyond. Uh, well, one of the people said, "No, they, we all said two to three hours beyond the phone call." As long as there's a couple of people who are like, "Only if it's something. Only if I understand that it's going to be useful for something. We're right. not just going to talk for under two or three hours." Right. Which is fair. I don't want to do that either. So anyway, yeah, and everyone was like, "Yeah, it's just uh, like much more on track." Anyway, it felt like and re-motivated yeah our group seems re-motivated huh because i used your your group as the fire in the village saying like Fuck, i was just you know i just heard <laughs> a friend who about a group and half have left and they're not motivated and we should be motivating these people like our group shouldn't be talking about fucking sacred shit whatever you're talking about we should be figuring out why they're leaving and how to get them back and how you know and how to motivate and inspire the teams and I, yeah. I and i i just couldn't say that in, in an inspiring way i was just you know I, I i like as soon as i start speaking it just comes out and and the emotion is strong and the intensity is strong and and it's and it is it's coming across as a as a like i don't know how you guys are doing what you're doing do what you're doing but i i just i don't even know how to participate with you guys it's so bad in my opinion and they and all those guys they think it's great it's, it's just like you know the ship is going over is is heading towards the cliff the, the waterfall and i'm going this a, i you know first i shout then i sit i talk then i just stop, stop talking because no one's listening when i say there's a fucking waterfall coming and you're all sitting there singing kubaya or whatever the fuck you're doing well yeah well, hopefully they're you're still on board the, the boat and all this. <laughs> it well, sounds like you're ready to jump out of the boat and fall down the waterfall by yourself. <laughs> well, I, I'm sort of like I'm chained to the fucking boat. I'm going, okay, well, how, you know, like I, I guess there's a side of me that's going, okay, I'm getting them ready for something, right? Like I'm, I'm basically saying you're going the wrong way. We need to go this way. And I'm the guy who knows the way, mm -hmm. which is essentially, you know, in, in not so many terms, you know, the chat, like whatever we're doing with the chat room has to work to be, it, there needs to be something that the teams need to, to get them going right in, in a, in a different way. Yeah. And I, I mean, I mean, it's great you're on the team, right? I mean, the thing is, that was another thing that when I was saying about all the things you started in March, and then, then it, you know, it wasn't just new relationship, and it wasn't just your game start, and it wasn't just uh, starting school, and it wasn't just launching the Remedy program, and it wasn't just finishing the chat room. There was also join LaCiel and actually participate. Yeah. Like, look at that. Like, that, that's insanity, right? But, but we're doing it, or you're doing it. <laughs> and, and yeah. no and i guess that's it and that's what i'm trying to convey them and going and you know the chat room which is like the thing which you're kind of counting on 
you know, with one person in here and I, you know, and you know, it's, it's just like, why, and this is my, why are we, why are the people doing the work so under-resourced? Like why, wh like, why am I so under-resourced? And yet we're trying to do this massive thing. And, and you know, Juan Carlos, the other architect has sort of, you know, he's lots of other projects and he's not that pleased with sort of what's going on. So he's not really here. He hasn't been here. And Darmendra is more gene keys in human design. So it's more specific to the internal process of the teams. And, you know, so I'm sort of the, you know, and then there's the two, the, the Americans, you know, the US military, the US political military, you know, good old boys who are, you know, they're, they're, they're great at group coherence, but I, I never get something new from them. I don't get an answer. I'm not like, they're relying on me, Carlos and Armendra to be the people inputting the new system design in. But then they take yeah. from that and then they built whatever they built, right? As you saw, but it wasn't going, oh, you got a whole system. What's the best way to put it in order? It's like, okay, we're going to try to put all these things in order and, and do it. And then that's when I flipped out. Like at some point I flipped out and went, okay, this isn't working because, you know, I'm the only guy of the whole system. You guys don't know the whole system, but you guys are designing this. And now what we have is, is chaos. Because if I look at your team as being the example and going, fuck, this didn't work. Like, but, but I've been mm -hmm. hearing, hearing feedback that a lot of people love the process they've been going through from an educational point of view because there are so many like i can see that the exercises they're doing if you do them are going to you know they're great exercises like they're very intelligent things but it's like the sequence of them in the order they come do they build the team into what it could be and that that's the big question right and and to me my you know again i'm very uh attached to figuring out how to create an operating system for a shared knowledge community for 144 people. So the teams all work together well. Right. And that comes down to ultimately to the info tech. And to me, the media being produced and the info tech being used, that's my focus point because that's what I think is missing. And, mm -hmm. and, and the ability of the teams to to have the same info tech to communicate you know, and that's the, you know, that's what we're working on, right? A missing link. But I guess it's, it's, it's like, I guess I just have this, this, uh, this shadow of my whole life of interacting with people where I just don't fucking understand how they fucking do what they do or want to do or like just talk, 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 and it never gets anywhere. Mm. It, it, it doesn't amount like the, the only things company like corporations get somewhere because somebody at the top says this is what you're doing this is what you're paid for and go do it and boom and the corporation fucking works because somebody said you do that you do that you do that and it all works together and they get that right and that's why ceos get paid so much but we're moving into a network hierarchy like moving away from pyramid hierarchy into some sort of network where everyone gets a chance to to participate in a different way and that to me that's what we're trying to build but at some point the product teams are in the are what create what comes out of the shared knowledge community like the synergy teams or the fuck like until you have the marketing team until you have the infrastructure team in place how the fuck can you do anything like whatever is going to come out of this like you guys said whatever comes out of this you're going to bring into the world so are you guys kind of like the marketing team <clears throat> that's kind of what we've been gathering yeah is that we are um I mean, basically, we set ourselves up because that's our understanding as, as we're going to receive the plans from the other teams and we're going to try to implement them on a global scale or seed global communities um, of like how I believe that we're interpreting it is we're going to our, our group is called seeding global communities. So we're, we're going to try to seed, you know, 11 global communities one focused on the, this this kind of water philosophy that they've come up with, one focused on this, you know, and, and then I think that's what we're trying to do. And like perhaps like physical I guess, communities or mental communities? I guess, no, I think mental. I mean, we're not gonna try to start physical towns, but then they have this whole uh, city thing and they've got, it seems like 
the people that pay attention to the course and reading everything that Lissy L says, um, they are convinced that this is our biggest project. This is going to be the whole project for the whole thing now is uh, basically creating a philosophical model of the ideal city. And what do you think about that? I think it's, I think it's quite fucking useless. Like it just, Jack it's, Fresco, it's through everything though. Like, yeah, like Jack Fresco, I think already did that to the best ability of anyone. And I think it's quite good and no one's gonna do it because the corporations aren't gonna pay for it and no one's gonna do it themselves, you know, et cetera. I think we're, we're another generation off from building the perfect cities, you know, with, with perhaps World War III stuck in the middle there to, to, make, to clear the board anyway. <laughs> You know, the way things are going, unless it changes, that's kind of the, the game plan of the, the unconscious world that we live in. Well, it's, it's, so it's, I think it's, that's silly. I think that's silly. I think, I mean, I think we've got to do something. I think it's a neat exercise, but for, for it to be the focus, like I hope it's not actually the one and all, the, the catch all focus for the rest of the thing. And that's what the one product where they're hoping to push out or something. Well, to me, that's stupid. No, I, like, I honestly don't know where that, like, where that came from. And I, in one of the meetings I asked, I said, where the fuck did it come from? And I think it came from Brian and John, like the, the two Americans. Yeah. Well, tell me again, one of them was an, is an ex attorney general. Yeah. And, and what's the other one? One's an, an ex general. Uh, literally for the army or yeah. military or something. Yeah. So legal and military is, is the people putting the things together. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm putting the things together. Like it's kind of loose. Like I would say, like, again, there's Darmendra, who I came in with, who's a gene key human design expert. And that's why that stuff. So that's the internal, you know, advanced knowledge stream of that. Uh, Car uh, Juan Carlos, who's got the magic canoe, who's more of a social catalyst, who's, who seems to be, you know, he's kind of working at the same level as me with the conceptual maps. And he has a whole kind of system that is more, I think more like, again, he's someone who kind of needs to be maybe the whole art, the chief architect for other projects, right? like bringing people together. So he's got some other things going where I think he has that. And that's where he's putting his attention right now. But I also think he's been sick and he's been traveling a lot. So he hasn't had the kind of timing to participate. And then there's, Olivier, Sophie, and Jesse. Now, the main thing of Luciel for my own vibe of it is that Sophie's this kind of like the spiritual visionary. I think she's got some like super spidey senses and she's, you know, she's, she's a wonderful human being and, and very um, dedicated and passionate about this, right? And I think, well, I mean, the nine of them came together and they've been together for doing this 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 work to get the 12 spiritual elders together right and to put the symposiums on but it just seems to me olivia you know and sophie and olivia are the couple they're kind of like the king and the queen and yeah. olivia <laughs> olivia is great at creating contact like olivia and sophie are a very sort of strong team in terms of um like they were able to to bring together the 144 people right like and jess jesse's kind of like their ops or, you know, sort of like a super office manager type who's who seems to be like very organized on top of things. And then the others are each kind of like involved in a sort of functional manner, but they're like, a, it seems to me like a support crew. And so Sophie, Jesse, and Olivier brought together the five contractors and we've been meeting, right? Every Wednesday for like six months to sort of put together the pieces. But at some point they took the pieces and then they go and they film and they write and then we're not involved anymore. And they're choosing which pieces go in which order, but they did a, a quite a, a good job of, of extracting from each of us what we thought were very important parts to let's say the first part of individual personal development and then group coherence and then collective intelligence. So along the way what, what are those three again say them again the first three months was personal development the second three months is group coherence and the first last three months is collective intelligence right okay so, th so then they took pieces of 
my puzzle, kind of put it in there with, with other, I didn't know they'd have so much self-development stuff. I didn't know they'd have like, I mean, I know, I know it's personal development, but I didn't realize there was going to be so much stuff. Um, yeah. And I didn't realize, you know, just how, kind of cherry picking pieces of what I got doesn't build whatever I'm trying to do. It just, you know, you can, I'm not like, I think isolated each piece is, can be okay. The convo killers are okay. The, but as soon as you get into like flow map or the synergy map, now you're bringing in the inflow in a, in a real way. And I think the Senate, like it is set up for the synergy map to come in and the functional teams to be created. Right. So that's, they are, they are sort of like, it, it's, it's hard because from their point of view, they're basically designing a curriculum, a one-year curriculum, and they probably have never done this before. And, you know, they, they're drawing from the elders, they're drawing from the contractors, you know, they're drawing from their own experience, you know, and they're both very intelligent people who probably put a lot of time into spiritual and personal development, right? So they're, they've got a lot of, you know, anyone who's doing that has a lot to draw upon. Plus, you know, they've got the, the Luciel and plus, you know, whatever they're getting from spirit. So anyone who's drawing, because all their decisions are through guidance. So that's another thing. They, you know, and I think that's through, through Sophie. Through guidance, you mean like uh, divination? Yeah, yeah. Like they have some methodology uh, like, of deciding who comes in and who doesn't. And then is this a good decision or not? So they're in the background doing design curriculum and it may not, again, work out so like, and that's my questioning is going, I don't think in terms of architecture design and building that whole system that that, like I've got my own guidance, you've got your guidance, like everyone has guidance, but no, I, I haven't come across people who so firmly say, okay, we're, we'll, we'll do our reading on it. And the funny thing is, because I, I do so much with divination, right? Like I, and I, you know, some things I do with divination, but a lot of things it's just intuitive knowing what's you know in the moment kind of going, okay, that 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 like I'm I, I question my own, like I feel like I'm being guided to create a system. Like whatever's coming through me seems to be some whether higher 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 part of me or a higher collective intelligence, I could say God creator, whatever, but that like anytime I've experienced that. Like any type of God consciousness, all there is is this, ah! and it it could be just the next being above, right? Like anything could make me go, ah! like I'm at a fucking waterfall if a sprite came out and said hello, I'd be, ah! <laughs> you know, I, 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 I like I just feel that like my consciousness is sort of so low <laughs> that when I do tap into any real higher consciousness, I feel like I'm part of God kind of thing. And I know you've had that experience, right? And, and, and everyone has that in their own way. And when you have it, you're like, I'm fucking Superman. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> or, or it doesn't even matter what I am. You're, there's such a, an amazement to what it is, but then it fades. You know, the medicine wears off and all of a sudden back to like puny little me. But I go in and out of these states because of the medicines that I use. And also then sometimes it's just like, the map comes through like i just sit down and in an hour i got this map and i look at it and go holy fuck okay that's another piece and then another map and then another map. so my process of 25 years of just sitting there fucking asking use me as a conduit is very different than a group come together and go hey how are we gonna do it? should we figure this out i find groups very very dumb you know find, yeah no i know i resonate with pretty much everything you just said for sure you yeah. I uh, did some channeling myself. That's how I got a bunch of information and kind of um, figured out a lot of stuff and made a lot of decisions at that point. And I haven't needed to go back to that state. But yeah, in general, yeah, that was good for me because it was just me. I did it all. And then, yeah, I couldn't have done that in a group. And I, I've never found a group of people, no matter how awesome and spiritual and aligned and everything we are together, it, it's, it's just a bunch of people trying to, trying to agree on stuff and there's ego and everything else in there and then without already a clear purpose and a clear everything else it's the whole it's just a non-stop discussion and, and confusion that lasts forever i think 
So yeah, ha having to do collective intelligence is 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 the only way it will work is if you know um, we can literally pool people's intelligence, not have a bunch of people working together. That's not collective intelligence. That's just the same thing that we've been doing for thousands of years. Well, and that that's the question that we have come to in order to answer, right? And so Juan Carlos has his own ideas, and I like his his magic canoe, right? I mean, I, I get that you know he's bringing in you know the sort of like the tangible and the intangible and playing with the energies and realizing okay as a group you're going to diverge but then at some point you're going to come back together again fine um i'm not i feel like i think my realization today was i'm on the wrong team or i'm i'm ready to let's say jump into going okay you guys do your thing how about Anyone who wants to learn what I'm doing, come into this team and we're going to start to work using the system because I need to train people. Like I need to specifically, I'm, I'm the guy who's got the system needs to train the people and I'm not training anybody. So something's wrong here. There's tools. Those tools need to be trained to the facilitators and those facilitators at the basis need to be able to distinguish one conversation type from the other. That's the fucking, that's the big Graham Bell breakthrough for humanity, being able to go, this is one type of conversation, that's another. If I'm in a fucking brainstorm, it's different from a needs analysis. And if you don't identify it, if you don't say what you're in, you're just in this incoherent fucking talk about anything. And there you go. There's the group. The group is talking and you're talking and you're talking and you're talking. Yeah, and that's what we've all been doing forever. Yeah. So different right so so it's like you know for my part because i got so many fucking tools it's hard to go okay no this is just the tool the one tool i come with the wrench you come with the hammer that's how i work but for this it's like convo type and for me because i've got like six card sets but it's all around the convo type the convo type is there we are now in a needs analysis if we're in an ease analysis, everyone in the fucking group starts saying, what do you need? Or what does the group need? Or what does the idea need? Or whatever, whatever we have to then pinpoint and then use that intelligence of the brain power to come up. Because the thing is, these people are smart individually. Each person here is fucking amazing. And so it's, it's, it's like that, you know, the, the functionality of the convo type in the chat room is the breakthrough experience that to me is you know what we were brainstorming on those seven steps like what we are working on is the most important thing and i guess my frustration with that whole thing is like okay there's two guys working on it we're, we're you know we're creating a company there's a bigger picture there's planetary guardians and there's a hundred you know we have customers let's say 144 people but you're not even paying anything and we can't afford to hire our programmers to build this. So we're in a bit of a crux here because we're doing this for free. We're charging you nothing for our time. We need a test. So it's great. We'll do that for that. But from a business point of view, we're over here in this, like I would say, like our shared knowledge community. And we're doing business with you. I don't want to jump into Le Ciel and be inside because you guys are crazy. I think everyone outside is crazy. And so what we're coming in with something that's going to keep you know, help you. We're the guys with the tools. And we're coming to you with these tools saying, if you use these tools, this is going to help you. But we actually can't build the tool. We need your help to build the tool. Or we need another programmer or we need some time. Or maybe we'll actually get it. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. Even though Noah's got that. his relationship and his this, 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 because well, let me take let me take it back a step then. So um I, I heard you say that you you feel like you should be on a different team and that you should be teaching people and using your stuff and that, and that it should be focused on your stuff. Yeah, uh, I agree. I think you should do that. But I also think that you should not try to get the list of people to come with you for one thing. Oh, I don't want those. To. Yeah. Or, or any of the people involved. Don't even tell them you're doing it. Just do it. And Let's do it. <clears throat> and also well, like, uh, I can't do it without asking. Like this is the bifurcate. It's just like, look at this right now, right? Okay, you got all these teams, you got all this structure and then somebody goes and, and this is the breaking point or the starting point of going, okay, we need small product teams. We need project teams, right? We need the ability to go, this needs to be built. Boom, who's in? Boom, we do it. This is how it's going to go. 
some team leader says, I want to, like, if you're building a city, okay, I need to measure out the city and fucking create the big circle we're all going to meet in. That's how we're going to start. I'm going to do it. Who's with me? Boom. We do it. We just mapped out the fuck. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying don't, uh, I'm saying go do the other team thing. Go do, go start another team. I'll be in it. Uh, we can get some other people in it. But I'm saying don't, don't, uh, don't relate that to Lucille. Instead, go do that. And we'll, we'll go do that over here and, and do it very well. And, and meanwhile, uh, we can, we can let go of all the energy connected to Lucille and say, and, and we'll still make this chat room. We'll still have it ready for them, but don't we'll worry see. about it. Okay. Well, just, just be ready to say, yeah, we got it. And, and, and then just sit back and relax, watch them do their craziness all the time and all this stuff. And meanwhile, you and me and some other people will start building up the shared knowledge communities the way it should be done. Right. I mean, I, I be, that's also what I said to them. I said, you are doing this for the yeah. first time and it's going whatever way. I'm going to do it or we're, you know, we're going to do it over here in the way that it's going to work. But you yeah, guys, but are, I mean, don't worry about it. I, I'm, I'm, to, I'm, I'm just trying to suggest like, if, if you've already said that to them, that's fine. But you don't even bother telling them that you're doing it or anything. It right. has nothing to do with them. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's just go do it. And, uh, you know, we'll still continue to make the chat room, have it ready for them as well. And we'll meanwhile be also using it for our stuff. And you can start creating a curriculum of how to teach your stuff that will last a year. Because that's going to be a huge thing. Yeah. And all the rest of it. We don't have to work. We don't have to. I'm saying you don't have to tell them that you're going to do this and it's going to be better and anything. Right. Who cares? Well, like they don't yeah. know. I guess it's it's kind of like there's these conceptual models, right? Which are distinguishing boundaries between people and relationships and how we spend our time and who we're with, right? So I'm you're a member with me. Those guys are our allies. The CL are allies. Me and you are members of a team interacting with these people but we we're both on the inside pretend you're not necessarily pretending to be members but going through the experience of being a member within but we're not actually members like we're our own entity just like everyone there is there i'm a member of lucille and you're a facilitator or whatever or something else of lucille for sure what's that i'm a member right now of lucille yeah. for real and you're and you're, you're a facilitator <laughs> or, or consultant or whatever you are of lucille right now yeah no, no, but that's just one hat. It's yeah. one hat. It's you can take that hat off and, and go over to our, our other thing over here yes. and put a different hat on, and, yes. and we can do that. Yes, they don't have to be connected. That's what I'm saying. Yes, no, and I'm in full agreement. And I guess it's just the when I'm in a group and I know that I'm not coherent with them. Like it's funny because group coherence is going to come when there's everyone's on the same page about how you're going to get somewhere right everyone's agreed this is how we're doing it we're and we're all happy about it. we're good and we're, we're doing it like there's a difference between figuring something out versus doing it right and everyone's trying to figure something out right now but me and you are doing it we know what we're doing right yeah so that's yeah. that's that's why like we are bringing coherence to them because we have achieved some sort of coherence in terms of the structure and design of what we're doing Oh, no, I don't think so. No, no, no. They're no. like our, even our team today, you know, we have coherence at this point. Okay. We, we even did last week. It's just like we know what we did. All the teams put out their, you know, uh, their constitution or whatever you want to call it. They, they, they have group, group coherence, you know. Okay. We're just like you and I, we're, we could build tools that they can use to do collective intelligence. That's, I think, where, where we're going to do it. Right. And that's using the groups, right? Like, um, so putting labels on stuff, really. I'm just saying, like, um, like, yeah, well, let's, let's do the whole other thing over here. Yeah, and then let let they see I'll do whatever they want, and we'll still give them the chat room, and they can yeah. test it for us for free. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it so much. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm saying you gotta you gotta energetically let go of Lucille and 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 put your energy into this other thing because I think that's better. Yes, we can do more without them than we can do with them. They can, the the thing they can do for us is to to test our chat room. Yeah, and we can do a lot for them 
but it's them using our chat room and the, them using the rest of our stuff. Yeah. But you know, if they don't use it or they don't understand it, you know, don't lose don't sleep get over too it. Down. Well, I, I yeah. guess, I guess like the emotional side to it was I'm getting clear and clear about this is how it works and this is how it doesn't work. And if you want to continue and how it doesn't work, fine. But I, I need to go to what's going to work. And so yeah. to yeah. me, I, my emotions yeah. kind of give me the um, feedback around how to interact. Because <laughs> I, I just, I don't want to participate in insanity anymore. And I don't want to just be a bog on the wall. Like I got, I got so much coming through me right now that I have to be very focused as the teacher, the designer, and that's it. And so, if I'm not, okay, then let's, let's do that Yeah. Uh, next week. How about <clears throat> just to throw it out there um, every week on Saturdays in New Zealand. So your Fridays every week on Saturdays here at one o'clock, I do my little CL meeting, right? Okay. Or sorry, what, uh, 12 o'clock my time. How about, so that's actually five o'clock PM on Fridays for you. How about at four o'clock PM on Fridays, we do a meeting every week. And we start off and that and that's going to be our group and we're going to invite you know jordan uh whoever the hell all of them and and one by one we're going to initiate them or kick them out okay <laughs> are you talking about planetary yeah. guardians like because it, you call whatever, yeah whatever you want well the thing is i mean i like for me there's school of conscious communication planetary guardians very secret plan inflow matrix a new paradigm toolkit yeah. So, so when you say you want to go create a group over here and start instead, what group, what's that called? What's that group called? Well, there's probably two. There's Planetary Guardians and there's School of Conscious Communication. It's like right now, me and you are on a product team within, you know, the Inflow Matrix operating system, building something in the new paradigm toolkit. It is part of the school, con like the larger economic structure is the school. The school is the way that we can bring everyone kind of in, get them the, 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 the labor they need. And then the school is teaching the tools of the new paradigm toolkit to planetary guardians, which is the media game. And so the, the inflow matrix is the operating system that connects it all together. And the new paradigm toolkit are all the tools that we put on top of that. And so the inflow matrix is, is that software system which I sent you with the infrastructure, that's the infrastructure for the software system for the inflow matrix. I mean, the thing is each of these is massive projects. The, the very secret plan in the middle is the web TV show that is showing how we're doing this. Like it's the comedy kind of, you know, it's the real life, here we are, here's how it's coming into the world. The school is how we teach it. The uh, planetary guardians is how we apply it. The new paradigm toolkit is what we're applying and the inflow matrix is the actual operating system that connects it all together. That's basically a mental thinking system that connects your inner mind with your outer business folders, with your info tech, with your business model, and it puts them all together and has everyone on the same page. And then it can fractalize, so it can be the individual the group or the community. And then once everyone kind of gets it, then it's like, we're now a super organism of a shared knowledge community. And then from within that, we could create anything. But then we essentially we're creating other shared knowledge communities to be the cells for the new paradigm. So the inflow matrix is like a planetary operating system that we, you know, that's in the control of the hands of the people that is available to everybody to make a living where the minimum wage is like a hundred bucks an hour. Yeah, that's the new paradigm toolkit. Yeah. Okay. And so Lori Renton is the first example from a point of view of Yorkton Visionary Hub. She ordered 20 card sets, which are going out this week or within the week, where she's she's believe, you know, she wants to to teach that stuff. So she's the example there. The example is, of Luciel is at the higher level of the whole, at the community level. They're the example of 
uh, someone who may be trying to use the inflow or maybe using pieces of the new paradigm toolkit. There's another guy, James Waters, who's bringing in, wants to create uh, a hydroponic vertical farming system for all the reserves in Canada. That's his vision. And so he's an individual I'm, conne I'm, I'm connected to who I'm looking to, again, like we, this operating system could run any business. So the idea is whoever is the first business to use it, they become the template and then it can franchise or then it can, you know, what we're looking at is encoding the best practices for each business within a universal business operating system within a software system that connects all the pieces together, information flowing in a matrix. So it's like a, it's a language structure to connect all the software together into one whole system. Do you have a diagram that connects all five of these things together? Yeah. Do I send it to you? Yeah. Because and that that is a if you go to if you look at the flow map and you look at two point five products, that five is your five is going to be different. You may go, <laughs> you may have let's say instead of the inflow matrix, you might have the game, your your play, game of planets. Instead of new paradigm toolkit, you might have, <clears throat> let's say your your uh, um, brain, your brainstorming tool, not your brainstorming tool, but your think tank, the think tank, because <clears throat> you're looking at your primary five business products. I mean, I have uh, above that, I have romance, business, music, lifestyle, and spiritual practice. That's my main five. I have romance, lifestyle, but you could put anything as your primary five. 2.5 a product. You put whatever you want there as your creative outputs. But then if I, but I fractalize it. Now you go inside business and then I have my inflow matrix, new paradigm toolkit, very secret plan, school of conscious communication, planetary guardians. That's my five. Those five are like the, the, the flagships and they're each of them is a life work each of them is fucking massive each of them is beyond my everything but it's designed well okay so my proposal is that we create a group that meets uh let's start just let's just start it for easy uh fr every friday at four o'clock okay for one hour okay uh, for yeah for one hour and that group the whole purpose of that group <coughs> is going to be to roll out and to to, or to to brainstorm organize and then roll out using our chat room technology or at least that system even if it's not done yet to organize brainstorm and roll out those five systems that you have really like my core team yeah and this team i propose the name is this the luminescence Spiral induction inspirational or or sorry uh instantiation meta engine. <laughs> okay. You just trumped my whole thing. <laughs> well, no, no, because this thing is just exist literally gonna exist in, in its only purpose is to create this this five functional system that you have. Okay, wait. But to keep it, but to keep it separate from all of those, we're giving it a new name and it's gonna be called this. No, but you Luminous. know what I mean? You just trump, you know. It's but the, <laughs> you just did a takeover. Right you get this done. Wait, the luminescent spiral induction. Keep going. What's what's the rest? The, the luminescence In spiral induction instantiation meta engine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, can I say something? I, I don't. For, first of all, I think I think that's. I would say if if the Friday at four was aimed at creating the shared knowledge community that's going to birth those five products, I agree. No. Huh? <laughs> no, because that's one of those five products. Well, but this, I don't want I think, to, no, 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 can't muddy the waters here. No, but, no, no, but nobody, is, it, nobody can handle separate. it. 
no team can like i think each of those needs to be a separate team no well okay that's 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 the job of the luminescence spiral induction instantiation meta engine group to create those five teams okay <laughs> it, needs, it needs to start from this external non-connected non-integrated team is what i'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> i'm serious i'm dead serious this is the only way it can work <laughs> what the only way? Why? Because if we try to to act as one of those other groups, it will get too messy and and it won't work. It can't because because you're trying to create. It's like you're, it's like you're trying to create this uh, life form that it, it, all five parts coexist with each other and in this balanced balanced form, and that they all they all support and 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 you know create each other, etc. The only way to create that is from an external source, just like the universe. The only way to create the universe is from an external source. It can't create I, itself. That's crazy. I see what you're saying. I, I don't believe the scientists when you, they say the universe created itself. The, the the greed. <laughs> so the <laughs> luminescence, no, no. industrial instantiation, the meta engine group is going to do it. <laughs> Do you know what ha I've just noticed this happen so many times where who's ever in the very secret plan at some point they take over the plan like everyone has their own plan <laughs> and says well do you think it's this but no it's this over here and so part of Captain Sweep's problem is, is he's always competing with everyone around the plan. Well no because you're in control of the very secret plan that the, all the other things. This is just the group. I'm not saying I want to be even in control of this group. I'm just saying we need to create an external unconnected group that that is its only sole purpose is to figure out how to and then create these five other groups. So if it involves creating five separate other groups that are going to be responsible for creating each of those things, then that's going to, what it's going to do. Okay. But it itself is going to be an independent group that just that, that this is its mandate. So that it doesn't have to act as one of those those groups. Right. That's the whole point. If, it, if it's a shared knowledge community trying to set up the other four, it's going to fall down because it's got to set up itself. It's got to set itself up first too. This doesn't have to set itself up. It has no structure. It has no need to exist on its own. After after those other five start going, this thing could just disappear. Oh, it's so, like um, so who, it like it's like how many people are on that team? The luminescence spiral induction instantiation meta engine team. Yeah. So far, you and me and Dylan might want to help with some graphic design. No, but th that's the inflow matrix. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> no, it's it, its job is to help. No, help. Dylan is not at the level of the luminescence spiral induction initiation meta. No one is. No one's at that level yet. <laughs> no, I, I know, that's, but that's the whole thing. It's outside of it's outside of the system. The, the, it's outside of the paradigm and the no, new I, I get That's that. I get that. But I'm just talking about boundaries for teams. Like, yes. how is this a twelve, an eight, a five, a four? It is a. It's a. It's a. What is it called? Um, uh, a scangle. A what? A scangle. The it's a 107 that? sided shape. That what? me and my friend made at once. A what? Scangle. 107? That's a strange number. <laughs> we made it just to make a weird shape. No, 107. I, what I'm going to say is, is this, this doesn't have a defined amount of people. At this but, point, it doesn't even have a defined leader. It just has a defined person. I'm not the made. leader. There's no leader in this group yet. <laughs> if, if the group decides that it needs a leader, we'll do that. <laughs> but, there's, but there's only me and you. <laughs> I know, I know. But if we bring in other people, it's gonna get it's gonna get easier. This is your way of jumping above the whole plan. <laughs> this no, I'm not jumping above it. I'm jumping outside of it. That's the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> you see, here's our two roles okay the, in in the group i don't think we need a leader maybe one day well, right now we just need to, to hold two two different roles your role is to represent those five groups explain it to anyone else who's in the, the luminescent spiral induction instantiation meta engine group and to, to tell us you know what needs to be done for those things to be instantiated 
uh, and and how they what they actually are, you know, what what do they consist of? How do we need to do this, 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 this? You're in charge of those those representing those five things. Okay. And 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 outside of the luminescent spiral induction instantiation meta engine group, you are the leader of those five things. Okay. And then my job is to try to create processes and 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 group group functions that will keep people in the group, get people to join the group, give them a reason to be in the group, and then you know a, a stuff everything everything that isn't to do with representing those five things. Except for leading the group, we're not going to do that. We don't need a leader yet. No, I think we're unanimous with that. What? <laughs> All right, because because anyone is going to join the group, I'm going to explain to them that the, the whole purpose of this group is to get those five things up and running in yeah. whatever order that needs to happen. And people will understand that, especially the people that we're going to bring bring in, like. Uh, Dylan will maybe needs a bit more explanation for for example, but Jordan and other people that we've already talked to, they're gonna know that you know they have, you mean, you have you this mean stuff the synergy going team. Get it going. You mean the other team? No, we can bring in synergy people, <laughs> but they're gonna be they're, they're gonna be wearing a different hat. They're gonna be given a different hat when they join this group. That's the whole idea. They're not connected to these other things anymore. If they are, then they're connected independently. It's not it's not integrated. <laughs> this is like a reverse synergy lens we're using here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it, just, it has that it has that special ring to it. The luminescent spiral induction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just you rolls off what, your tongue. You know what I think about the very secret plan is that if it makes me laugh enough, then it has to be in. That's the only humor is the main value for the very secret plan. Uh, okay. If it's not that funny, it, it's it's not going to stay. I don't so know. okay, this is we're trying to create a mock meeting right now. So we we formed our name. You know, we understand our purpose. Um, so can you fill in the blanks as as you're part of the role of this of this particular the luminescence spiral induction instantiation? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's uh you got to tell me because you're you're in charge of this stuff. What no, goes in in, this in the center is the very secret plan. And then to the top right is the inflow matrix, inflow matrix. And if anyone says inflow matrix, they got to make a funny sound. And then the new paradigm toolkit is bottom oh, right. Oh. One sec, one sec, one sec. So hold on, should I do a house like this? No, a circle is this, is this the right thing? With, with two lines, a circle, circle, and then a, a line the and a line. Like a, a circle in the middle to start. Circle, a line, and a line. And yeah, now another line. Through the, like this way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You got the very secret plan is in the middle. Uh, and those four, four circles here. Yeah. Okay. You know the five communication freaking map, frick. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's in the what's in this one? Would you say? That's bottom left or right? Okay. Uh, this is this is my right. This is the okay. My top the top right is inflow matrix. The that's the, right. That's at the is personal space. Like what the fuck? What is it? Well, is it is it supposed to be straight like this or more like this? <laughs> is it a plus sign or an x <laughs> it's it's an x okay oh okay no 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 it's a it's a it's a cross it's a cross but okay so what's on the down. top huh wait what, what's on the very top one then if it's a, if it's a cross well, it's straight right? no, well no it's it's just because that's the individual like individual and group inner and outer the top is the inner the bottom's the outer, the left is the individual, the right is the group. So that means the okay. personal space, one-on-one -on -one space, group space, <laughs> collective space as the spaces, and then the inflow matrix is the product at the personal space, new paradigm toolkit is the product at the one-on-one -on -one space. 
School of Conscious Communication is a product at the group space. Plantier Guardians is a product at the community space. What's this one then? Jesus, fuck. That's the... That's the... Inner. No, but what's it called, this one? The... Oh, that one? Community? That's a School of Conscious Communication. Right, okay. Luminescent spiral investments of that engine. <laughs> We're gonna get the same. No, because it's gonna drive anyone in this team. It'll drive them fucking crazy trying to figure out all the fucking shit in there. Like whoever. Okay, this. No, so that's this, why this, that's your that's your job is to is to represent that stuff so they don't have to hold it in their brain. Right, but no. What I'm just saying to you is. I'm not sure. Maybe Ramayan. Ramayan could be on this team. I don't know. What I want to do, like, I want you to, to just sit back and relax and know that your five things are going to be created. Okay. And <clears throat> this group is going to do it. And you're, it, you're, the only point of being in this group is to represent those things properly so okay. that they get made, they get made right. 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 And then my, <clears throat> part of my role <clears throat> Is going to be to create some sort of uh, induction mechanism so that people are spirally inducted properly, so that the ones who want to get closer and closer to the actual point of this thing will will get closer and closer. The ones who don't, they'll just spiral off and, and disappear. Exactly. And, and, like and, and gracefully, they're not going to get mad at us or something. We're not going to have to get mad at them. They're just going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to do this. And the people who really magnetize properly with the are in alignment with the spiral. They're going to spiral in. So I don't have to shout at anybody then? No, no, no. No, you won't even need to. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll create the initiation process, which will come with some sort of background checklist that I'm using to, to say, oh, well, this guy's, you know, obviously not interested, or this guy's obviously useful or whatever else. Okay. Anyway, don't worry about what I'm going to do so much. Just, what just, you, uh, just what okay. What's, what, what you, about this one? What's, what you, what's this excuse one Excuse me for a second. Excuse me for a second. Yeah. Hey, let me just get this straight here for a second. I'm not yeah. trying to take control of your secret. No, 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 no. <laughs> just listen. You're going to school. You have a family. You are in the LOCL program. You have a game, the game of planets. These are your major projects. Plus, you're now starting the luminescent spiral induction instantaneous meta engine and saying that you're going to be the person who builds the induction system for all of those five things, the inflow matrix, new paradigm toolkit, very secret plan. No, no, no just no. communication. No, only the induction system for the luminescent spiral induction instantiation meta engine group. Oh, just that. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, just that. But also, also, I have Wait to say- Wait a second, well, so you're I, saying I, I you're Hold deciding on. who's getting on this things on my team? Plate too. Are you deciding who gets on this team? No, no, no. Then what? I'm not deciding. No, neither of us are deciding that. Okay. Neither. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but then who who gets on that team? Well, okay. Before I explain, that, I want to also mention too, that I've system. teamed up. Huh? Yeah. I've also just before we get into that, I just want to also no mention. So I'm being open. Like I've also uh, <clears throat> teamed up. I'm teaming up with some programmers from my school, and we're going to create some games, indie games, on the side for money. <laughs> And also, also, I've agreed, as you as you may or may not have noticed, I've also agreed to two or three hours extra a week to Lucille, uh for our team. <laughs> I'm in 354 yeah, project groups. <laughs> and I do 10 hours of social media a day. And I like to fucking sleep most of the time. <laughs> Uh, that you know the thing about me i think you'll understand that if it makes me laugh i don't give a flying fuck about anything and i don't care how ridiculous it is if it makes me laugh i'm good with it i like it all right well, well one more time at the so, so I, I i like the luminous and spiral induction instantaneous med engine i'm down i will put it to fridays fridays at four yeah so you just, Okay. Um, the chat rooms are going to be ready, right? Oh, yeah. 
When are you gonna finish it? When are you gonna finish it? I'll get it done. <laughs> when? <laughs> well, <clears throat> let me look at that tomorrow. I'll try to get a straight answer for you tomorrow about that. We're running out of time, man. No, not really. No, because I mean, honestly, I've been I've been kind of waiting on on Dylan to see if he could do anything, and now I know he can't do anything. So I'm going to spend a couple hours tomorrow fixing it, putting it back together, and and then taking kind of taking stock of what we're, where we were at, and the pieces that I have and don't have, and then I'll be able to like tomorrow come up with some sort of prediction of, of when I can get it done. A prediction? We need to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you that yeah. motherfucker. I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll get you it need to spend probably one straight day and you'll finish you could have done this yeah. fucking three months ago with one straight day but you didn't maybe it's quite possible not maybe well, yeah, i mean you have to problem. right now well kind of strong language <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry i'll get it that i'll get it that so uh yeah, no, I'll get it done. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second, though. Before we, before we go there again, what, uh, which one is this? <laughs> That's plantier. Well, but is it... <clears throat> you didn't this put the right, inner and the outer right thing. Side. Sir? <clears throat> Planetary guardians. All right. All right, and on the other side, the opposite side? New paradigm toolkit. Okay. And above that, the inflow matrix. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean above that? Uh, Show me that. We got the school of conscious communication at the top. No, no, so no, in, no, 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 no. What the? F oh, no, 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 no. That's not how it looks. Here. Let me do a sheet. Let me. Yes. Yeah. yeah, let's let's do that. That'd be Oh, no, 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 no. Let me find something here. You see Fight Club, right? Fight Club, yeah. Right. Why? No reason. Don't worry about it. What do you mean, no reason? <laughs> <laughs> I am Jack Steel Lips. Okay, now here we go. <clears throat> okay. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. So, okay, cool. So now you have your own one of these, though. Huh? What was that? The problem, it's not, not the problem. I mean, this is just mine. No. What? What do you mean? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is the blueprint, right? I yeah. need the blueprint. Yeah, so this is the blueprint. Okay. That's all. And this, if you go to uh, let me Yeah, did you have it on that new sphere thing? Just wait a second. Or new map, I guess. <clears throat> so 
So it's it's down there at 2.5, right? So if you click 2.5 on my flow wheel, that's the it's actually two level. That's a, a level down. So because I have, I have a different, I have one level above the romance, spiritual practice, business, music, and lifestyle. So you would have your own. Right? No, don't worry about that. No, I mean, hold no. on, hold on. Sorry. Let me ask you something. This particular thing that I'm looking at, yeah, this is the center of your wheel, right? Flow wheel. Flow wheel. Okay. What's which of those five things is this part of? Which the inflow matrix and the new paradigm toolkit. This is part of the inflow matrix operating system, but it's also a map within the new paradigm toolkit. <laughs> It's also an interface in the software. Like this would be an interface. All these maps are interfaces. So for me, Elijah, I would have this map and then I dive in and that's, this is my inflow matrix. But the idea is that everybody has their own inflow matrix. Like we're, we're changing the way software is done kind of thing. Like the, the conduits, we're creating conduits between the people. The AI is us. We are the nodes. Well, we're the CI, the collective intelligence. Exactly. Hopefully we will be able to compete with the AI. That's the whole, that's the whole reason I believe our CI is necessary. Because yeah. AI is inevitable. Yeah. CI is probably inevitable, inevitable too, but someone better fucking do it soon because <laughs> AI is just around the corner. Well, AI is, I think, already running the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it depends on how you define it for sure. Corporations and government systems have already run the planet for a while and they're basically AIs. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, because they all overlap somehow, right? They're all connected, these five things, right? Yeah, like they fractal into each other. At the next level down, each one of them is part of each one of them. Mm. So the school of conscious communication. Okay, yeah, real quick again. What are those five things? Like, I mean, okay, School of Conscious Communication, what is its purpose? Is to train people in the inflow matrix and the new paradigm toolkit. Okay, and what is Planetary Guardians? Planetary Guardians is a media game. It's where people use the background of it as the inflow matrix. People use a new paradigm toolkit tools which they're learning through the school of conscious communication within the very secret plan to take over the planet and create a whole new system so the planetary guardians are kind of the planetary guardians is kind of the system where people are working using the tools in well, a, yeah. in a, in a yeah. you know organized manner yeah that's in the community space so the school of conscious communications in the group space that's like in that group space people learn how to use the tools they learn how to use the tools to, to play the Planetary Guardians game where that's the new media system. That's the global media system that connects everybody together and gives everyone a good life. Okay, so School of Conscious Communication teaches the Inflow Matrix and the new Paradigm Toolkit. Yeah. Here, let me just teach his input. Okay, and then the Planetary Guardians are people that have already taken the training from the School of Conscious Communication. Yeah. And are going to be putting it to use according to the Very Secret Plan? Yes. Okay. But the Very Secret Plan is the web TV show. It's a starter show. So it's like anyone who's in the Very Secret Plan can get their own web TV show. But the people in the Very Secret Plan are the ones who are like, 
building the school of conscious communication. They're the ones who are being planetary guardians. They're the ones who are using the inflow matrix. They're the ones who are in the, using the new paradigm toolkit. It's like, how, but it's the real life. Like, this is it, us recording this. This is part of the secret plan. So like the people that are involved yeah. in the plan are playing the planetary guardians media game to sort of like save the world. Okay. <clears throat> and the inflow matrix, what's that exactly? That's the operating system behind everything that connects everything. So that's the actual software and slash media slash movie making slash show making software that connects it all together. And what's the new paradigm toolkit? <clears throat> new paradigm toolkit are maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. Maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. But I thought the info matrix was the software or had the That's software. one of the softwares, but there's also all the other softwares that we're allies with to connect them together with the inflow matrix. The inflow matrix starts out as a language structure first. So that's why it can connect all the info tech get together because it's based upon a language structure first. Then you find the pieces of the info tech to be the functional part of it. So you can put that language structure inside an app or a program, or we can build the actual software using that language. So we're, we're building with models, like it's a, it's a matrix of models. So we're mapping in the newest sphere and we're defining space according to the boundaries of the conceptual design. <laughs> um, okay, here's what I understand so far. The School of Communication, our School of Conscious Communication teaches people, regular people, uh, about the inflow matrix and the new paradigm toolkit. Right? Yeah. All right. And then <clears throat> people that have gone through that training are, are eligible to become planetary guardians, basically? Yes. Okay. And the planetary guardians are people well, well, who have already gone through that. Well, wait a, wait a second. I mean, I think anyone could be a planetary guardian in their heart in a sense like planetary guardians is actually it's a web tv network that is a game but it's applied to every issue on the planet so for every issue on the planet you have a show well hold on no 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 i, I want to back up from that because i think that's your thing that's what you're using these things for that doesn't have to be their entire purpose right like i mean fast forward five years if this all works out like by that point and we have a lot of backing a lot of people we got resources everything you know we could be the, our, the planetary guardians some of those people could be you know literally writing letters to congresses and, and sending people in in choppers to to protest or whatever the hell right they don't yeah. have to just do tv shows or anything they're not restricted well, to that as i'm trying to say no but it's kind of like a main focus in terms of you need reference points. So the reference point is we need to be solving the issues of the planet. Like what are, what are the main problems or areas of the planet? So if we're looking at old growth forest protection, <clears throat> and so we say that, okay, because we, we need purpose. What's our purpose? Our purpose is to protect mother earth or to create balance on our planet, right? Like we need to change direction for where we're going. And in the old paradigm, it's kind of the capitalistic you know, eating the limited resources in a closed system, it's going to kill itself. So we need to go into a new thinking system that is in balance, in harmonic flow with the universe, right? And those are the higher spiritual principles. So those are the values. So the values are programmed into the operating system. But here you have choice because it isn't just an imposed belief system saying, this is what you're supposed to believe in value. You're going, no, value what you want, believe what you want, but structure it actually consciously choose what the structuring is of your operating system this is how you do it it starts first with you choosing your values and you plug that into a universal business thinking system that is what distinguishes you and that's why humans supposedly have choice right so that's at the fundamental level of the thinking system and then the choice wheel 
you also can program whatever words you want like this the choice wheel is a whole bunch of cards but it basically could be anything you can take any word any system and pop it where you want but then you go into the flow and the synergy and the harmony which is now the language system has become specific there are specific words in specific places that we're using now as a as a universal model to organize any job any organization and any community so you've got the community level the organizational level or the group level the outer you but your inner you <clears throat> this is where you get in your personal space you get to choose what you believe you choose what you value you choose what happens to your body this is your sovereignty your personal space is your sovereignty now you and i if it switches is one-on-one, -on -one. okay, now I'm in relationship to you. That's a different space. Now I'm in relationship to one other person. That's a different space than, oh, here's a whole bunch of people. And, oh, here's the whole community. Or we're thinking from a community space. Now these five are like the DNA of humans of going, this is how I distinguish my life. Me, the other, the group, and the larger group. And that is not designed into software. That is not designed into the larger conceptual everything of this planet. And it's kind of like an invention is something where you're coming in with something new to reformat the hard drive. You're coming with something new that's just so fucking new that the mind needs to get redone. The mind can't get redone. So you can teach the kids and you program it into the software. If it's in the software, they have to use it independent of whether they even know they're using it. Okay, well, hold on. <clears throat> Back up, though. Um, I'm still trying to understand these five things. Okay. Um, so, hold on. Let me just start again real quick. The School of Class Communication teaches people about the Inflow Matrix and the New Paradigm Toolkit. Uh, people can join the Planetary Guardians, uh, but per perhaps, you know, the people with the most uh, authority or whatever you want to call it are the people that have also gone through the training and are part of planetary guardians i would imagine yes They're somehow yeah. more i mean you're learning and off you're le you're you're defining your philosophical system as part of your training and that's everyone's going through the creation of the value system and the creation of understanding the basis meant the basic mental constructs of how the operating system works then you start and you start applying that to designing your ideal job to designing okay what you want oh, hold on, hold on. yeah but that's too far for me right now okay <clears throat> i'm still trying to figure out the structure i'm just trying to figure out the, this structure of the five things still okay not what they do really. okay like uh, i'm just trying to keep it simple super simple for me at the moment to understand this so the very secret plan itself is it, you know it can be expressed as media shows and etc but the point of it is I assume in order to tie all the stuff together, because it's in the middle with all the conduits touching it. Yeah, it's also in the sacred space. So it's kind of, it's linking into the divine plan. It's linking into humans designing their future. And it's linked into the kind of the story. It's kind of like, it's, it's the story of how all of us are going to use our gifts to participate in the, let's say, ascension of our species to some other new dimension, new place, like another way of being where we're not at war and we're not, and we're taking care of like the all the pieces of the puzzle. We're learning how to be conscious, aware, loving beings. So the, the very secret plan is sort of the destination almost at this point. Well, but it's it's also the present moment, like it's 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 all of it. It's the timeline. It's it's the timeline. It's the central timeline going through in terms of like the 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 basis of the the very secret plan or the operating system or the school or is the timing system. And it's this the time translator is shifting human thinking from linear time to cyclical time, and that that creates timelines like we're, we're, we're now learning how to create a timeline and then there's these actually this came through just a little while ago but like a positive negative and neutral timelines and there's three of each that branch into three and the very secret plan is one of those and then you've got like the 
evil Rothschilds, you've got the Luciferian agenda, you've got the transhumanistic as like the three main negative ones. And then you've got the Christian redemption, you know, Jesus timeline, or the avatar coming back, or the collective uh, ascension, but then the very seek plan has its own timeline. And then you have the neutral, you have the, the, anyway, so you can kind of put multiple timelines in front and then again, with your storyline, you have the ability for people to choose which timeline do you want to go into right now. We're moving into a timeline collectively together into a story of transhumanism and all this fucking crazy shit. And that you know they, they're playing this end game out <clears throat> that is affecting us all. They affect us through the stories. They affect us through the media. They affect us through all of the brainwashing mechanisms they have so we need our own brain cleaning mechanisms to reformat the mind to get us collectively pointed in the same direction just using structures time structures maps and software to use it for the good of our own species to use it with intelligence yeah, yeah. the system is broken we need we need a new system <laughs> yeah. and it, it comes yeah. like in and like in in the foundation and harry selden uh, I don't know if you, you read the Foundation trilogy, but the Foundation was put at the opposite end of the galaxy, and, they, and as this civilization, the galactic civilization was dying, this foundation of scientists and uh, non, <clears throat> non sort of military were set up to replace it. So as this died, they grew, and, and they grew in spurts from an evolution, I don't know, an evolution, but like one person would see a completely new way ahead of time and set the, set the way for that whole, you know, next 60, 70, 100 years or something. And it's like when you come in with something new, it's like all of a sudden you're seeing the pieces coming in and you can kind of reconfigure this new timeline. And if we can get that timeline inside of people's heads, let's say 144,000, because there seems to be prophecy around 144,000. So you get 144,000 planetary guardians all thinking like different values, but within the same structure. You know, a potent force of intention to change things at the higher or deeper collective unconscious and build this timeline collectively together you know with with the huge power that we have like think of just me and you get together let alone 144,000 crazy insane passionate dedicated planetary guardians who all want to save the world yeah i think it's uh, inevitable it's just to why not align ourselves with the, the destiny that we that we want and do it <laughs> That's how I see it. It's like it's going to happen whether we all die in the process or not. <coughs> you know, the closer a, a person becomes, the closer a person puts themselves to being part of the solution is, you know, the better for them, the better for everyone. The faster it happens. Yeah. So, okay, hold on. So the inflow matrix is a new operating system for the world, right? Yeah. Pretty much. That's, yeah. So the, and the new paradigm toolkit, I, I think, is kind of like a set of tools that people can use to live in a new way well to learn create communicate and heal together to learn create communicate and heal learn create communicate and heal like if you can teach a human to learn okay. you can teach them to create you can teach them to communicate to heal those are four pillars <clears throat> that in, in new ways or in well, like no, system at the at the individual at the individual the group and the collective and the, the species level like we need to we, we need to <clears throat> bring into uh, our thinking a much higher level of connect and that's what the unity consciousness is there's there's a unity consciousness wave coming <clears throat> through which as you say it's happening anyway like the, the younger kids they're way ahead because they're tuned into the, their dna is tuned into this higher vibration and so they're thinking yeah, I believe oh, it's been happening for a long time but that the speed of it, it <laughs> has been increasing but I'm, I'm 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 saying it's inevitable but at the same time it's under our control so we can see it in our lifetimes we can see it you know beyond that or we can see it real fucking fast 
if we do the right things and we get involved. Right. And yeah. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> All right. Well, why don't we why don't we meet up again tomorrow? <laughs> and and uh, hopefully, I'll have a, a kind of like a timeline or whatever for finishing the chat room figured out. Okay. And also, maybe we can talk more about the luminescence, spiral induction, instantiation, meta engine, and and what we're going to do with that group. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll keep you laughing so that you don't even know how it happened. Well, as long as you're making progress forward, I'm all behind it. All right. Cool. Okay. Great chat with you, man. Yeah, you too, as always. Well, all right. uh, I'll, I'll shoot you a message tomorrow when I'm awake or when I have, as soon as I know, when I'll have time to, to talk. Okay. We'll, we'll continue. Okay. Cool. <laughs>